First of all, I would just like to say sorry that this episode has taken so long to come out. Um, the main reason for that is just that I've been super burned out on editing. Uh, it's very hard to edit these podcasts because for some reason our video has a little lapse in it compared to the audio. And so like every minute I have to move the audio to match the video and it's really annoying. It takes a really, really long time. So we tried uh, something to fix that. We tried using a different camera and you, we recorded with this camera as well just in case the video cut out or because we didn't know what was going to happen with that camera. Uh, that video flopped with the video camera, and then also the video as a backup flopped. Um, but we have a little bit of that video in, uh, but it's at a terrible angle, and like the bed is in the frame, and you can only see like half of Adam, and it's terrible. So uh, I put in, after a few minutes, I just started putting in pictures of... Uh, animals that we've had in the past just because. Did it have anything to do with what we're talking about? No. But are they cute? Yes. So that's what I did because those were the pictures I had. (laughs) So, um, but on a good note, we now have a Patreon. So if you would like to help us monetarily, Patreon is about the only place you can do that right now. As you can imagine, we don't make anything from these podcasts at all we actually lose money making these podcasts so if you are a fan uh which i don't think we have very many but if you are a fan of the podcast and you would like to support us and this podcast patreon is the place to do it link is in the description you get things for donating to us um you get your questions answered first on the podcast uh you get access to all of our uh, videos that have been taken off YouTube for one reason or another. And at one tier, you can uh, make suggestions for videos that are basically requests. So you can be like, hey, I want you to react to this video or song or something. Or you just have a video idea that you would like us to do. You can do that. Um, also, um, if you have any questions about, you know, uh, Patreon and what's happening on Patreon, you're having trouble with it, or you just have questions, uh, feel free to comment them or just DM me on Instagram. Um, and also at one tier, you get merch. You get a t-shirt, you get a cup and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm not sure if it gives you a preview of what it looks like, but if you sub on Patreon right now to that tier, um, the merch isn't going to look very good because I just threw up a design and made it. I do not have any talent in graphic design, apparently. So um, <laughs> uh, I'm working on getting us an actually good logo and making us merch that actually looks really good. Um, but that has not happened yet because, like I said, I'm just not talented at that. So I'm getting some help on that and... So by the time you get your merch, it should have a good logo on it because it takes three months to even get your order in anyway. So that will not be a problem. It won't look like whatever it looks like on Patreon right now if you sub. So um, thank you so much if you do that. And um, enjoy the rest of this podcast because it's a pretty good one. Brandon, would you please introduce yourself and just who you are, whatever you would like people to know about you. Uh, I'm Brandon, and uh, I'm from this area, and my uh, girls have gone to church with you, and so I think that's where we kind of met. Yeah, I don't know. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. So, um, did anything interesting happen to you this week? Uh, this week, this weekend, I did a um, uh, an overnight uh, an endurance event on Friday night. So I uh, worked out from 9 o'clock uh, Friday night until uh, 9 o'clock Saturday morning. So oh, wow. I spent most of the weekend trying to recover from doing entirely too much overnight Friday night. Wow. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's intense um anything for you uh, I mean, you already know. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's a uh, a little payback. Uh, I was kind of teasing Jason about his knee because I didn't think he was limping, and then he just starts limping and he's like, "Oh, my knee hurts." Yeah. And so I was kind of teasing him about it. Well, then I end up hurting my knee. So <laughs> it's the way that goes, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm fine. I'm 100 percent now. So I got competition Saturday okay. in uh, Indianapolis. So I'm just reached from the doctor 100 percent, ready to go. So should be fine. So a little quicker recovery than what. Yeah, you know, that's what I was kind of. I shouldn't have done it. I kind of teased him when I showed up. I said, "You're supposed to be the young guy. Supposed to be already healed up." I said, "I, I healed up before you did." <laughs> he even now, took a vacation to get it. Better. I know he went to Florida. How can you not come back well rested? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, this week, what happened to me? All oh, right. Oh, so yeah. I was in Florida. Yeah. So. Um, Talk about how that went. Right. So poetry nationals, I was one point away from scoring a superior. Um, so I, I only got an excellent, and so I did not place, but I still got an excellent, so that's pretty good. Awful. Basically, they just <laughs> didn't like my ending. That's Really? Yeah, they all they all said they didn't like the ending. So I, I tried to make the ending like more impactful, and so I kind of made it, you know, I wanted it to be kind of surprising Mm -hmm. so i kind of like this it was kind of a style shift at just the last two lines and apparently they didn't like like that i i thought it would make it hit harder but apparently it did not so huh a lot of that's up to the artist's interpretation you see that a lot with yeah you know poetry music different things like that and sometimes hard to convey that when the were they old receiving it well i don't know I, I never get oh, to see, see them. Get to see oh, I thought they maybe just, you did it like in front of them, like no, a spelling bee. To... <laughs> You're on a stage and they're just right there, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they they review it together and they write comments all about it and uh, everything. So, so you do you even do anything then? Or is it like written out? Basically and you just turn it in. Yep, that's basically it. It's like turning in his homework. I, f- I feel like you could have mailed that. It's like all the way to Florida. <laughs> just I to would turn have it too. In. I could I could have mailed it to state, but then but, you wouldn't have gone to Florida. Right, and then you have to hand it in in Florida. Yeah. I mean, are there worse ways to have to turn in your assignment than drive to Florida for it? Oh, I mean, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> I just like my. I never really got the detail part of how it went down, right. and so right. I just in my head I envisioned him up on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> reading, reading this poetry. yeah reading his poetry. poetry right i mean you he he rewrote it so why not you know <laughs> yeah and then maybe they would have understood it better if you did it right yeah because I mean, in your yeah. head you had it a certain way and then when they're reading it for sure for sure you know. yeah there's that that's a big gap in poetry yeah. writing but mm-hmm. yeah um if people are interested i published it on apple books so you can find the poem if you just look up jay's tune i'll put it link in description or whatever i just did it because i could you know people might better understand it if you would recite it for us <laughs> that's not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> all right just do the ending no <laughs> <laughs> this is why he turned in a piece of paper <laughs> exactly there there is a spoken word category and i did not enter that category on, on purpose. purpose you might have won <laughs> <laughs> it's true i also might have Died on stage. Nah, man. It's good for you. <laughs> it's character is. building. See if you do it yeah. on the stage at each I'm, set, local, state. By the time you got <laughs> to Florida, you've been fine. <laughs> it's probably it's maybe true. I mean, I've done quite a bit of things on stage. Right. Um, Dancing. And I'm either. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually, usually singing or uh, piano recital or okay. that comedy, that stand up I did, yeah. dude. The amount of anxiety I had through that whole thing. When I got done, I was like still shaking. Oh yeah, and that was yeah, almost half yeah. an hour long. So, I wonder. I understand. I could see it. I could. I don't know if you. Probably not. Did you post that? Yeah, I did yeah, okay. post it. Yeah, okay, well that's fine. I don't. <laughs> I mean, you had to watch it. But, <laughs> but I was. But for I couldn't remember if he had sent it to me or if it was posted. But right. uh, I didn't get to come to that one. I was working, but I could tell in the video. But you played it off because you kind of tried to play that you were nervous right. as well. Right. So that was made part it well. of the joke. So right. it kind of worked out. But yeah, I was glad. I only had a. I came up with like I did all that in a week. Of course, a lot of it was. You know, like ripped off 
jokes, which I right. said that on, in the beginning. Right. But Bo. Um, Bo Burnham. Right. But I still, you know, planned the whole thing out and made the recordings and everything. One, I decided to do it one week before I did it. And so I practiced a lot that week, and I was happy I did all the practicing I did in that week. Cause, whoo. Well, I mean, you realize <laughs> they, they run that – they, they, they have their set sheet, and they, they'll run it through – all kinds of different deals yeah. for like a long period of time and make it tight. Right. I mean, and they'll cut they, stuff out and add yeah. stuff. I mean, it's, it's a long process. It's not just yeah. a practice and then you no. it's a golden yeah. thing, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they bomb, I mean, bomb in front yeah. of strangers constantly. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was nerve wracking. So yeah, I don't know how, what I, how I would have done on stage reading my own poetry. Cause it could have been great or it could have been terrible. I don't know. Maybe you could have like turned your back to them. <laughs> well, that'd probably be a point off. Like they're super uh, oh, particular. Like no. you can't adjust your clothes. You can't. Like wow, there's a lot. What? Of, yeah. Uh, bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I figure we should pop on three. Oh yeah. Um, so we do this thing where we count to three and we you pop on three. I, I see you get usually what it's about seventy seventy five percent of the time you actually pop on three, right? It's, there's a little bit 75%. of miscommunication. I mean... I, I would go like, never? <laughs> never? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever actually popped? Once. Okay. One time. I yeah. like, I've seen it happen, but... Yeah, only like one one time, I think. Yeah. It's like a, kind of like a race, really. I mean, Well, but, who wants to count? Do you want to count? Even? You guys should count, right? The, should, get, the guests should count, right? Why should I yeah. count? Why not? This would be your only time to count, maybe. I mean, I guess... You never know. Yeah, go ahead. You want me to start counting now? Yeah. Or you want me to wait a minute and then count? No, you you can count. <laughs> uh, you want me to count fast or slow? It's, it's up to you. You, know? <laughs> you can start at a hundred. You can start 100. the negative numbers. Oh my god! If I start at a hundred, we're cutting stuff out. I've started <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> I'm glad you did it fast because I was going to cut you off if you started. <laughs> Yeah, one hundred <laughs> click. <laughs> so, questions? Uh, okay, so we're gonna start with. Let's do the basketball trivia, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, if you can guess who this is, <laughs> and if you get it right, I will be absolutely <laughs> tickled. So we started this specific, or I started it specifically for Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll give career uh like goals like if they were in the finals mm -hmm. mvp stuff like that and then i give so many and then he like he'll make a guess we've done it twice and the guest has gotten it both times okay. before he did okay one was a guess it just got lucky it's the only basketball player he knew and it just happened <laughs> to be the right one the other one the guy was knowledgeable okay i mean they were probably equal on knowledge maybe um but I'm so. probably going to break your streak here. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that's fi that's absolutely fine. You can still guess if you want. You never know. So let's see here. And I got to – so I'm not going to give years first, right? That's what we're going to wait on right. in the years. Right. So three-time NBA champion. Okay. Uh, we got a two-time NBA finals MVP. Okay. We got uh, – Kevin Durant? Nope. Okay. This is a solid guess. <laughs> uh, Three-time NBA Most Valuable Player. Okay. Uh, Twelve-time NBA All-Star. Okay. That should help you a little bit. Well, yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. We got nine-time All-NBA First Team. Three-time NBA All-Defensive Second Team. Okay. Any three-point contests in there? Or dunk contests? Or any... Yep, so he's got three-time NBA... Okay, it's Larry Bird. Yep. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> That's, That's that, that was my second thought after Ken, Kevin Durant. But good. I was waiting right. for another yeah, hint yeah, in there. Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right, he All finally right. got one, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah, Larry Bird, I think, is the... There's only two players that have three three-point contest wins. Okay. So it's Larry Bird and some obscure player. Not like a super great player, just a good shooter, I huh. guess. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what his name is, but that's wild. It's slipping me at the moment, but 
Okay. So that's a pretty big giveaway. Yeah. When, as soon as yeah. you said three, I was well, like, I well, know when you asked for it, I go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get this one. <laughs> uh, before we do questions, are you wanting to talk about any of the stuff that you guys do before we get into like just random stuff? Or you not want to talk about that at all? I mean, I'm open to whatever. Don't I don't. I don't particularly have any questions for him. Right. But if you do, if you're curious about anything, that would. Well, sure. Okay. I mean, I'll ask. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You know. uh, I mean, you're here, and this is kind of what you do, and this is how Jason knows you. So I figured it'd be a point to at least touch on, anyways. Fair enough. So right, you, it's on your shirt too. Right. So it's so, pretty, covered up. I can't. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so if you want to just kind of blanket sheet here, just. You know, what type of workouts do you guys do and like where it kind of comes from? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, to your, like you said, we work out with F3. Um, the F3 is fitness fellowship and faith. And it started in North Carolina in 2000 and, uh, 2011. Uh, a couple guys decided they needed to do something about their, uh, about their health. So they got out, started working out. I realized pretty quickly that, <coughs> The working out was secondary to what they needed. They needed the community more than they needed the, um, the fitness itself. And so from that grew F3. And so obviously the fitness part is getting out and doing hard things. Um, the fellowship part is the relationship building that happens. And then the faith is um, no specific religion or denomination, uh, but an acknowledgement that we're not the center of the universe and that there is something bigger that we need to work for and towards um so usually that comes out in the form of giving back to our community and um and doing the things we do so that uh, we can impact the the people and the communities around us okay very cool yeah i like it we sounds good it. i mean i heard a lot from jason to be honest but <laughs> I, I figured you know that's what you guys kind of do so i yeah. definitely want to at least touch on yep. it so yeah very sure. neat for sure. That I know it? you're a you're a big advocate of early morning workouts. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I look forward to you coming Huge. out with us sometime. <laughs> I'm not saying I won't do it. <laughs> uh, but definitely behind everybody else for sure. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I have to remember which ones we did last time. All right. So it looks like next on the list was do you get more excited for Thanksgiving or Christmas? Well, I know the answer for you. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Probably Thanksgiving, honestly. I just, I like food. I don't <laughs> What can I say? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I think probably, I don't know, maybe Christmas for me. Um, That's I, right. There's there's <laughs> something about something about that time of year. I don't know. There's an atmosphere. There's an air about it that's just different. Mm -hmm. um, and plus, I like the the cold i like the snow and all that so yeah, yeah i'm on with you to, to the until snow then bar, yeah. <laughs> which i mean so i'll be honest with you, when it comes to the cold weather as soon as the super bowl's over i, I no longer <laughs> I about that. yeah <laughs> i no longer care about how cold it is like like those hold like meaning for being cold like so christmas new year's and then super bowl and then i'm like i'm done with right. winter i'm ready for <laughs> i'm ready for the warm up yep. <laughs> but then we got two more months <laughs> Uh, but definitely Christmas for me. But like you said, it, it's like it doesn't matter what's going on. There's just something about that time of year, yeah. at least at least in this small town. Right. Now, maybe it's different elsewhere, but I mean here, just you know, lights are up. You know, everybody's a little bit nicer. It seems like you know, <laughs> depends on the sales for the day. Uh, that's but. true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, for the most part, it just seems like everybody's in a little bit better mood around that time. Right now, maybe maybe short lived. Only that only that week. <laughs> but I'll take it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and definitely like for me, the, the, when I was a child, you know, so we, I still have a lot of the Christmas stuff when I was a kid, mm -hmm. uh, up in our house now. And then like the movies I watched as a kid is kind of like, you know, the Christmas story for me. Right. It's like a big one. Yep. Um, and then of course all the older cartoons, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, right. and all that stuff just brings back a lot of memories. And right. I, I love it. Yep. I agree. And it's, I do like Thanksgiving though. <laughs> I can't pass up some good food. <laughs> Thanksgiving's good, but uh, for me, it's Thanksgiving. It's good for about one meal, uh, yeah. and then you get four Thanksgivings in and a week's worth of leftovers. Yeah. Like, you know what? This yeah. whole thing's overrated. So. <laughs> well, I so I kind of I called an argument. It wasn't really an argument, but it was uh, my mom talked about how good 
turkey. So I said, why do we have turkey? Uh, and she's like, I and hate she's like, turkey. oh, turkey's so good. Well, <laughs> mm. I said, if it's so good, why do we have it once a year? Yeah. <laughs> and she goes, I never thought about that. I go, yeah, because it's awful. It's dry. Nobody likes it. I mean, it can be made well. Sure. It, it, I've I've had some phenomenal turkey, and I've had some. Yeah. Less. Well, I than... will say nine times out of ten, it's dry. It's oven cooked. But I've had deep fried turkey, which is phenomenal. Yeah. But I mean, deep fry anything is probably I, good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, but deep fried turkey is awesome. But yeah. most people cook oven. It's dry. It's you know, whatever. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. <laughs> yep. So, <laughs> sorry. I have a question. Well, while you're doing it's that, another um, Christmas one. That's why. If <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear I've not asked these questions. <laughs> if uh, if you had to invent a sport that you knew you could be the best at, what would it be? To invent a sport, mm-hmm. and because you invented it, you're going to be the best at it. Mm-hmm. No chance. <laughs> There's always like for how long? How long are you be the best at it? At least a couple weeks. <laughs> oh my goodness! I guess until, until everybody figures le- out the game. Until somebody else learns the rules of the game. Right. right. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! No. Uh, Is there nothing that you think you're good at? Good at yes, but to where I can beat anybody for a week? No. I mean anybody. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like there's get, nothing super specific. Uh, you know that's not already invented is what I'm saying so like so in the matter of a second and a half you have to come up with something that nobody's ever thought of before yeah yeah, right (laughs) I mean I think I'm going to be very uh, non-specific here but like I could maybe think of some type of lifting thing that is not necessarily a thing yet but then you have strong men stuff that they they could do it very easily I feel like people lift already right but we're talking like <laughs> talking like an objectal type thing, like strong men, where they have obscure things that they do that you don't see most people doing in the gym. Like, so you're talking lifting something specific, like right. you're going to be the best, not just lifting. dresser, lifter, furniture right. lifter person. Right. I can hold two drawers by the handles for somehow over my head. I don't know. You know, <laughs> I could come up with some weird thing that you got to hold it just right. To be able to lift it, and then someone's going to figure it out within no time and beat me. <laughs> I'm doing four drawers. <laughs> you know, it, it wouldn't take long for somebody to figure it out if they were actually interested in figuring it out. Get some high school kid to outdo you real quick. Yep. I agree. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything. I was just curious what you guys would come up with. <laughs> Reenact the office. I'd be pretty good at that. <laughs> what? Reenacting the office. Is that what it says on there? No, or I just... Oh, you just said yeah, it. That's yeah. a sport. We'll, we'll make oh, it into a sport. Oh, I see. We'll call it Dwight. <laughs> D- Dwight Ball. <laughs> All right, so uh, this one is, it's already August somehow. How do you start compiling a Christmas list for your family, gifts, and or yourself? I see. Somebody's feeling very Christmassy on our questions. Uh, yeah, obviously. for sure. Um, it's too hot outside to think about it. <laughs> I am really terrible at getting gifts. I'm the opposite of you. Um, <laughs> Actually, I wait very, like, last minute. But you get good gifts. Oh, well, yeah. I love You're very that. good at getting Absolutely. good gifts. I'm not. Like, I, I, I will think about it for, like, two weeks, what I want to get someone. And I just be like, I can't. Like, I want to get something that somewhat pertains to that person. Right. Yes, absolutely. And is also not trash, you know? <laughs> yes. So, I I'm, I can never think of anything hardly. I do sometimes, but, yeah, I don't necessarily compile a list until it's, like... Crunch time. Crunch time, yeah. yeah it's too late to order anything. Yeah. That, yeah. They're, they're behind. Yeah, they're I'm like running them. into Dollar Tree and uh, pulling things off the shelves. I found these plastic cup sets. <laughs> Made me think of you. <laughs> they're your favorite color, greenish. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were sitting in the sun. <laughs> yeah, in, uh, in mine, my wife is the, uh, is the gift buyer, oh, gift yeah. giver, so uh, lean on her for all that I am. I don't think about it. It it doesn't 
ever come to mind. It's like, oh, you know yeah. what? This would be a good idea. I don't. <laughs> not good at it at all. How many kids do you have? Uh, three. Three. So what about birthdays? She's same oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My wife's the same way. It says uh, from mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, absolutely. It's from mom. And they know good and well that it's from mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, That's all. It's pretty much the same thing in our house, really. Uh, I mean, so the only ones where I do like what he's talking about is where I have to personally buy someone. So like my wife or we do name draw uh, in his family. And so I got a specific person in his family, you know, my wife. And then uh, like me and like my parents don't do anything anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they'll they buy stuff for my kids, but that's it. I don't buy anything for them. They don't right. buy anything for me. I mean, I don't need anything. Neither do they. It, so at some point it just becomes an exchange. Right? right. And then it just becomes like, you know, I got you a candle or a tie. <laughs> you know, it, it becomes stuff that really you nice don't candle, really though. need or be a center right. on the shelf forever. Right. You know, right. What you want to get is something the person wants but they're not going to buy it because they feel irresponsible if they bought it, and then you right. can get it for them. Right. That's what you want to get. I will say that I've done very well over the years for his family as far you as have. like you name draws. Most people kind of want me to have their name. <laughs> 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 and it's always funny because it's like uh, uh, I know everybody's wondering who I got when I get their name. Because, I mean, I, I try to do very well, uh, and I'll – ask their wife or whatever like, right what do they want what do they like or if i've picked up something through the year which i did for his dad his dad was just talking about a coat that his grandfather had that he liked wearing yep. and i found one just like it oh, and wow. bought it for him so i was like there we go so i try <laughs> to really do cool. very well uh, when it comes to that type of stuff but yep. i enjoy it getting something kind of cool and neat or yeah and some people are just it, it, there's just a um an enjoyment that they get by being right. able to know and find the, just the right gift. Right. And, and then especially like when they get like, Oh wow, this is really in there. Their, the excitement is real. Yep. I mean, you can fake it. Like, oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah, right. Like, and you know, like, ah, whatever they're, they're going to throw that away. Or, right. Like, I'm going to get that next year. Yeah, We'll see that next year. <laughs> <laughs> we've had that. We've had that. Yep. Happen. Yeah. Like but it, it was something weird, wasn't it? You like get someone a gift and then it ends up in doodah the next year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> pretty often <laughs> didn't we have something weird that got passed around for a while yeah uh yeah i would like show up and do to every you whoever got stuck with it they put it in the next year man i don't i, was I know it what you're like a about. potpourri spray or something what it was something really weird and off i can't remember what it was though i don't remember what it was all right because it was kind of right before i was okay. allowed to play right. so okay <laughs> Uh, so, Doodle's yeah. fun too. So we do we do name draw. That's a serious gift, and then everybody does either a serious or a silly gift that we put in the middle. So like uh, okay. white elephant yep. or yep. whatever. So it's it's I love that game too. It's yeah. pretty fun. Yep. It's a lot of fun. And some people just get rid of a bunch of junk they don't need anymore. I would say yeah, it, it unfortunately turns into what can we clean out some, of the closet? Some do that. Not everybody, but some do that. Yeah, I like to kind of mix it up a little bit. Last year I, I did do, do a bunch I, of junk, and then I did like some ammo and stuff. Right. So. I'll I'll usually buy like a center gift and yes. then I'll clean out my closet, put all <laughs> that go. around yeah. it. See, I don't mind that because then I can go, all right, I'll toss all this out, Right, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll keep this cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Getting away from holiday stuff. Here we go. Uh, if you could spend a day in someone else's shoes, who would it be? I mean, are these like clean shoes or are they, are they funky? A, now it does say in parentheses, literally just their shoes. So, uh, <laughs> so if if they mean like that, then uh, someone who has some very clean shoes apparently. Who has the best shoes? I don't know. I don't know that there's anybody whose uh, shoes I would want to put on my feet. For real, it's kind of gross. So my feet are probably worse than theirs, to be honest. <laughs> Mine are pretty sweaty and gross nine times out of ten. Yeah, are these are these have they been sitting in there cool and and like cleaned out or are they no like specifics because right. there's so warm many and, there's no specifics so on many this, people so. that have like closets full of shoes. I tell you what, they're not wearing them. A good go to is a uh, just a, yeah, like a shoe collector, right? Someone who collects shoes, someone who's into doing that because you know they're not wearing them. So you like, I mean, if they didn't just like peel them off their feet and put them on yours, I, I guess I could manage. The but, word "peel off your feet" is I mean, <laughs> gross already. I mean, yeah, if, they're, if they still have all the uh, the uh, the foot Fungus. moisture going on, moisture. then yeah. yeah, the shoes are wet on the inside. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were just talking about today at Thrive at my work that uh, like we we're like, yeah, we do this experiment with the kids where you just take off someone's sock and put it in a bag uh, and you keep it and it grows stuff and they're like that like that's just 
like mm. one of the suggestions in the books and stuff. Like anyone's sock will just grow stuff at any time if you just leave it. It's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> do you have one of those? We do not. We do not yet. That's but what he's we got in his, that's he's got his closet right now for doo <laughs> <laughs> You just open it up. It's just like socks. It's, it's in, bags. in bags it's and they got dates. Labeled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after a morning workout. <laughs> <laughs> after a day on the farm. <laughs> Isaac, Beach sock. Isaac, I got a new terrarium idea for you. Just put a sock. There you <laughs> like go. You got your soil, put a sock in there and stuff grows out of the sock. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Cool update. Um, something that happened to me this week, um, actually today, is I got that job. Very good. Congratulations. So, um, What job? <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you yet. No. But, um, no we already knew. <laughs> now I know where I land. <laughs> <laughs> He's already you, lost one friend in this podcast. <laughs> if you would have, uh, if you would have been at workout this morning, you would have heard mm. at least seventy five percent. I, of I was you at work out this morning. Uh, I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not the same. Moving rail cars. <laughs> and how'd that update go? Uh, huh? Good. <laughs> <laughs> <Could. laughs> um, so at at Thrive where I work, they had a custodian position come up in that church. And they offered it to me. So, same pay, but I'm much closer, and I'm in AC, so. Definitely a plus. Yeah, so I will be quitting the farm. So, no Uh, more cow stories. Sorry. I know everyone was looking forward to this. Now the cows will get milked. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be missing Jason. (laughs) Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, What remedy do you have when you're sick? That maybe not many people do, or just something that makes you feel good when you're sick. For example, a certain drink or way to relax. I I don't do much when I'm sick. I <laughs> I basically close. just play 2K the whole time. <laughs> so what kind of sick are you talking at this point for you? Like, like, this is few, like when I had COVID, for okay. example, I literally just played 2K for three weeks. COVID's a good good name drop. And I, <laughs> <laughs> there goes the filter. Yeah. yeah. Can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Be canceled. <laughs> there goes our monetization. Yeah, oh, wait. It's over. <laughs> oh, wait. We're not. No. Now, mine, uh, anytime I had a sore throat, ever since I was a little kid, um, a mix orange juice, cranberry juice of some sort, and Sprite, and make a big glass of that. And it's juice, wow. and it's bubbly, and... That's it's cool. Vitamin C and all of that. It stuff. actually sounds good right now. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, when you're sick, water just it doesn't. It no, just doesn't do it. you need like to it makes your it still makes your like mouth and throat still feel dry. Right. Even so, just water. So with this, it's it's uh, gets you all the fluids in, tastes good, and uh, the bubbly feels good mm. on the scratchy throat. So that's weird. I like it. That's cool. It does sound pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Better than mine. Well, what is your... Yeah, don't do this. Anybody listening, if you're young, <laughs> just don't get this idea. It's not a good idea. I'm awful when it comes to that. When I'm sick, have the flu, anything, I am drowning myself in DayQuil, NyQuil, <laughs> ibuprofen. I hammer... Because I got to go to work. I work 12 hours, so I'm not like, I, you know, some juice and call in night happening. I, I'm, so you're one of the guys that gets sick, medicates heavily, and then goes and spreads it to everybody yes, at work. absolutely. We really appreciate you. Yeah, well, my boss really appreciates it. <laughs> Uh, back before COVID, I had a positive test for strep throat, yeah. and he told me I needed to come in. Really? Yeah, and I positive. I mean, it wasn't like I might have strep throat. Like I, they stuck the the tube down me, and they, you have strep throat. And I was running a fever. He's like, I need you come in. So, mm. and but I was like, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Do not try this at home, kids. <laughs> no, it's a very poor way to to self medicate for sure. Yeah. Poor life choices. Yeah, <laughs> I will pay for it when I'm older. I am sure. I have no uh, no insides left. <laughs> <laughs> Just a shell. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right. What we got? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good way to start a question. No. At what point would artificial intelligence just oh. become intelligence? When it's no longer artificial? <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> uh, and it says, uh, it I think saying? it would be when it just tells you, no, I'm not going to do that. 
Hmm. I think it's just sassy at that point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the filters. Let's turn this down. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that like happen already? Like, don't I mean, I don't know. Isn't that Not just really. an error? Right. Right. I don't know what you said. Supposedly. You that? Yeah. Yeah. Or it just pukes something out that has nothing to do with what you're talking about. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, and Isaac, when Isaac got his car, we were trying to figure out how to hook up the Bluetooth phone to it, and it kept malfunctioning. And he, we kept trying over and over again to get it to work. And so he's like, "Blue, you know, it has like voice speak or whatever." So he hit the button and Bluetooth pairing, and it, and one time it just went, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like, think so. like it was gonna say something, nah, but it, it just stop. went, "Nah," and stopped. It just went, "Nah." He was like, okay. <laughs> and we just stopped. <laughs> I think I actually hurt uh, our, we've got a Google in our kitchen, and I think I hurt its feelings the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we asked it a question, and it was giving us the response. And at some point, I wanted it to stop talking. So I just said, hey, Google, stop. And Google let me know. I was like, I was just doing what you asked. Like, literally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just answering your question. I'm like, oh. Uh, oh I'm, th- go ahead. Finish. I finish I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Maybe it was less than artificial uh, intelligence uh, at that sorry, point. Sorry, Google. <laughs> yeah, when we start apologizing to the, to the artificial yeah. intel- intelligence. Oh, you absolutely know there are some lonely people who have that, who talk to it like it's somebody in their house. Oh, yeah. Well, Has to. I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have anything for that. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't either. I don't. Yeah, that's a hard. I don't know. It's an odd question. <laughs> I'm sure if we I asked like Elon Musk that or something, he'd oh, he go would, deep he, into yeah, it. We yeah, would he's a long-winded thing but on that. I not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should be, but I'm not. Not so much. See, if you had a doll that you knew was haunted, hmm. would you sell it, throw it away, or just keep it if it wasn't really bothering you? If That's you, such an odd question. Yeah. I feel like if you had a doll that you knew was haunted, you would want to end that then and, like, Set burn it on it, fire. Burn it, yeah. Burn it, yeah. But, gonna... but then it just shows back up in your house burnt. <laughs> like... No, not like some... Just... One eye hanging on. Yeah, not just some little melty burn. Like, oh, I got we're you. going big time burn. Right, I got you. Okay. Or Official I just put it There's in someone, someone else's house. I, someone I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> someone you don't like? <laughs> the oh person who goodness. gave you the sweaty shoes. <laughs> sneak, it, sneak it into Danny's bag <laughs> when he visits. <laughs> Gets home. Where's this doll come from? And knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> and what's fun? What's funny is so it says uh, uh, if it's not really bothering you. So like, right. what's it doing that means it's haunted but doesn't really bother you? Like it's keep you like, keep you up at night. Talking? I mean, if it does anything other than just sit there, that's gonna bother me a lot. Uh, sure, at first. And the only way you're gonna know what's haunted is if it does something besides. Just sit there, right? Well, yes, for sure. So at that point, I am bothered. What if it there. just? What if it just moves? Like, like you don't see it move, but like you come home and it's in a different spot every time. But that's it. <laughs> Big fire that would bother me. Big fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd just be like, I have a doll that moves. All right. Until it goes any further than that, I wouldn't really be super freaked out because I, because I'd definitely be like, my wife moved it this time. You know, like I'd be in denial <laughs> yeah. first. So if you were Andy with Toy Story and you come home and they're just in different places, you're right. you're cool with it. Well, I'm not cool with it, but I, I wouldn't expect haunted at first because, like I said, my wife would would moves my things because it's not where it's supposed to go right so like oh she just moved it and all the kids played with it until i'm the only one in the house i knew it was by the front door turn around now it's in a different room now I go, okay now you turn around Somewhere. and it's like just drops when you turn around and you're, right you're still okay with it no not that point oh, i right. would be in denial until that point for sure what if it just like <laughs> sat in your room and you'd just be having random conversations it would just interject a joke at random point. It's like a funny ghost. Yeah, it just like sits, it just does nothing. You got a you just to- be, Tommy Boy You just spirit. be saying something and you just be like, <laughs> it just be like back there, that's what she said. You know? <laughs> a Michael from the office joke. Uh, that would be, that could be funny. You never know. It would be weird for sure. <laughs> but I mean, if the jokes are Might good. Might not bother you. The jokes point. are good. Maybe it can stay. Mm, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh Let's see. So 
So do you prefer live music or just listening to music at home? So I'm assuming like on your phone or something. I generally don't like live music at all. Now, is it the live music you don't like or the atmosphere? Both. <laughs> so general, I mean, unless it's like it's super, super good group or singer or whatever, like they're actually incredibly talented. Like Garth Brooks. Most, <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, I've just been very disappointed by people live. I mean, there's some that I've been amazed by, but usually like, you know, they're just good at studio artists and that's sure. it um i agree to that but like i hate mosh pits i hate all well, that kind nobody of nobody really likes it only the ones that are throwing the punches like it <laughs> <laughs> the ones getting hit i guarantee There's, you don't like it <laughs> anyway yeah i don't i don't enjoy the live music atmosphere very much and i do very much like listening to music by myself so okay. or or corporately like in the car or something i enjoy that but yeah not a live music guy. Uh, in a in, when I was younger, I did uh, went to a lot of concerts, and I was uh, absolutely one of those mosh pit guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Loved every minute of it. Really? Now, no. were you throwing punches? No, no. no I was never going uh, never going in being mean or, or trying to do anything malicious. Uh, but there was definitely an energy when you're in that type of crowd, um, listening to the music and and kind of going with all that. It's pretty. Did cool you ever experience. get punched? Uh, no, never did. There, like a few times, you know, people land on your head because right. they're so not too bad. Then no, nothing, like. nothing okay. terrible. But but yeah, I was I was in the middle of a lot of that, and yeah, it's a really cool experience. So yeah, if the band is is good, if they're if they're well put together, I'd absolutely enjoy listening to live music. And if they're not, then I'll just listen to it uh, at home. Yeah, Auto tune was better, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But uh, I think generally speaking, most of the artists that I listen to um, are you know accustomed to playing in a live setting like that okay i'm uh, not not a lot of the studio type stuff so i like it yeah cool. I, i'm with him uh, i do like live music now um, i've never been to a concert with the mosh pit period so oh okay uh, really? uh so so when i was a, when I, I haven't was, really either honestly i mean yeah. i've been i mean i have but it's like smaller scale things like five people no, <laughs> they're just, in that, just that was a scuffle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't like I don't enjoy going to concerts. Right? I just don't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I enjoy the concert part of it. Uh, my dad wouldn't let me go when I was younger because I mean, when he was a kid, it's just it was just drugs and alcohol. So mm. he's like, "You're not going." So I never got to go. Of course, I, back then I also liked bands that that could be happening. So I liked Metallica and mm-hmm. stuff. So. It, that could be hap going on. Right. <laughs> so he was like, you're not going. It's like, you're great. Uh, so I didn't go to a concert till I got married. We went to, con- we've gone to country concerts. Right. So, and I like fits there. No, <laughs> no, there's still alcohol there, <laughs> but there's not uh yeah, there's not a lot of mosh pit and a lot of craziness going on for the most part. Cause they're also kind of like toned down country bands. So it's not like hardcore, like country rock or right. anything like that. But, uh, if I can think of his name, uh, the guy from Hootie and the Blowfish, when you did Winter Darius Country, Rucker. yeah, man, you talk about a show. That guy is phenomenal Who? on Who stage. Was it? Darius Rucker. Oh yeah, he's good. Oh my goodness, we See, he wasn't even supposed to be there. That's like one of the country singers I'm okay with. You know what I mean? Well, he's had I don't I don't know if years of, of performing, yeah, right. so he's got it down to a science. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, he wasn't even supposed to be there. He was a fill in. So, so ones we went to, she was pregnant, and then she's like went into labor, so she had to leave, and he filled in. I mean, and he wasn't even the main show, but I think he stole the show. He yeah. was phenomenal. Yeah. But so, I mean, I, for that reason, I like it. But I've never really been to a bad show. So I guess I mean, that's why right. I like him. But I haven't been to very many either. So. I really like, enjoyed uh, Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. I went to, I've gone to a couple of their concerts and they're just. Who? Immaculate Perfect. Um, What'd you say? Doyle Sorry. Lawson. You know, uh, it's bluegrass. Okay. All right. But like every, all they are. Well, he's he was the best mandolin player in the world for a while, and I, like all of his group, like they have every little note has to be Pinned perfect, down. and they yeah. sing perfect, and they nice. do everything perfectly. I like bluegrass, and that's very I just toned, don't know anybody, you know, and that's of course very calm, 
Yes. Uh, oh, kind absolutely. Of yeah. No. Yeah. Concert. No more spits <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. so that was enjoyable. That was a very enjoyable concert. I, I wish I could concerts. have went to a Metallica one before they changed the bass player. If I could have went. I don't know. Robert Trio is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So for me, like like I said, you know, it was a lot when I was younger. Went to a lot of shows and stuff. Um, don't necessarily go to concerts now. Um, and I think part of that is in time you start to recognize the. Um, I don't know, uh, kind of the way you're putting the band or the musicians on a pedestal in uh, that in that environment. Yeah, okay, I get you. So it it becomes putting yourself almost in a posture of worship um, in those. I so can see that. you know you're you're kind of you know, yeah. to the artists and and yeah. especially in um, when you're going to um, you know rock concerts and things mm-hmm. like that. A lot of those. You're yeah. you're you're putting yourself in a different situation. So now I find myself, I will, um, I elevate the music, but not so much the band that's there. So then right. you're kind of in a different spot when right. you listen to the music and and everybody's cheering right. specifically for the band. You're like, oh, well, the band's awesome, but they're not really, you know, they're, right. they're getting that from somewhere else. It's not, I could uh, I could definitely see that point yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, so it changes the experience a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I I can totally get that. That's very much how I feel as well. Like, okay. I just don't. Yeah, I, I feel like my. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of worshiping the person yep. when I'm doing mosh pit, and I just. Uh, okay. It makes me feel uneasy. So I. A little icky. Yeah. So. I can't say I ever thought about it that way. To be I, honest, I've been. I do see yeah. the point, and I can't agree to that for sure. Yep. Um, I've never thought about that for <laughs> sure. Yeah, you know, I just go and listen to music. I guess maybe because <laughs> my mind's not. I don't know. I don't know how it's kind, of, it's kind of a weird thing to think about yeah, to be but, honest with you. But but do you know and and we do we see it a lot with uh with sports as well. So people kind of put yeah. themselves in a position that that they're behaving almost in a um in an uh in a way that they're idolizing or worshiping right. a team, a band, you know, whatever right. it looks like and and when you start to see some of that and and to your point you know, those convictions start to set in you're like, "Oh, you know what? I don't I don't really know even how to go to a concert and just stand back and and listen right. when it's that type of when it's a smaller venue and you can sit and enjoy the music and and whatever then it's a little bit different but when you're in a bigger environment and and you kind of get it's easy to get caught up in that. are you right with like like dancing to it or oh, is that, yeah is that okay? like yeah right. I, okay. I don't have any issues with any of that okay. like i said it, and a lot of it is is the individual's heart and being careful of, mm-hmm. of what you're doing but but yeah i think okay. a lot of that is I definitely see it uh, for sure in the sports too. I do understand that, mm-hmm. and I'm kind of at fault for that for a lot of it. I mean, I got autographs of, of guys right. and you know idolize these guys that done like great things, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. So I would definitely see that point. Yep. Well, this is interesting because like we should um, look up to people. I mean, you know, there's people that we consider great. You're gonna have that, and you should strive to be great. You know what I'm saying? So right. like you do model after people that you Mm -hmm. think are great and so like you should do that part but there's just like one step further where it seems like where you like you know you worship them or or like you i don't want to be them like uh, you should kind of want to be right like them the parts of them that are great but you shouldn't want to you know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, I'm jumping off the deep end here, but I'm not. I'm not like praying to them or, or anything <laughs> like that, or, yeah. or thinking that they're they're going to do anything for me or or anything like right. that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, for sure, I definitely give them that. Like if I'm at the baseball field and they come out, definitely give them that standing applause. Type yeah, of thing, I mean, you know? I, I like where, I where's, do that where's, too. You know, where's the line is right, kind of is what I'm kind of hard. Thing. Yeah, and I yeah. think I think some of that. I mean, that kind of comes down to personal conviction in the end. Right. I think. Yeah. And are you are you getting butterflies to meet him are you are you hanging you know this stuff all over the room are you you know wearing their their clothes and all this stuff you know there's there's some of that stuff you start to look like how much attention and and money and effort am i putting towards uh, somebody and, and holding them in that high regard knowing that you know everybody hmm. fails and and putting and and some of that you know we we elevate people and and to some extent when they fall some of that's on us you know, because we've we've put so much on them. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I mean you see that uh, more in the like the what was it Mickey Mantle, and uh, where he's like starting to lose his hair because of the pressure of that mm-hmm. everybody's putting on him to right to the, well they actually wanted him to fail. Which one was it? Was it because there's two of them on the Yankees at that point in time? 
as once I've seen it. Uh, but the, they were both going, Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle. I think it was Mickey Mantle they wanted to fail because they didn't feel like he was what they wanted. But he was hitting home runs. Mm-hmm. and But it shows the part where he rubs his hand through his hair like he's got hair in his hand. He's got spots missing because the stress of everybody wanting him to fail. Right. And everybody else was raising the other guy up. You know? yeah. They're on the same team, which is so crazy yeah. to me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. But no. I, I mean, yeah, look at my hair, dude. Look at all the stress that I under being famous. You know? Yeah. He ran his hand through it this morning, and that's what happened. With all 150 <laughs> subs. Why is my hand black? Did you just spray paint your head? <laughs> <laughs> I am for real. Like, the top of my head right now, mm-hmm. I'm probably never going to cut again. Never going to cut again? Yeah. Never again. What do you mean? I'm serious. You're going to, like, grow out? Well, it's not growing. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's not growing. I thought he just wasn't going to cut it. That's what I kind of thought too. Like he's going to have like a weird. Like just this top part is just hanging down in his lap. Yeah, it's just. That's more of like a rocker style. I'm saying like I don't think I'm going to be. You're not going to have to cut it. I can't afford. I can't afford to cut it. (laughs) You know, there's there's a solution. I can cut the sides, but like. I just got a haircut for a camera. Yeah. Well. This is your future. I would look so strange to do that right now, though. Nah. I don't know. I it, for me, it I was, feel like I would look pretty strange. Do you have being like a weird tattoo bald. underneath that hair? Or? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe no. his head's just got odd deformities. Um, He's got lumps sticking that's out not the even side. Really or hair something. is it? <laughs> it's just a, yeah, it's just a carpet. <laughs> but yeah, you should see uh, pictures of me like two years ago. My hairline was like here. It's like, called old age, bro. How much? That yeah, happens. but I'm 19. So Dude, I started balding at 19. <laughs> I had, yeah. I had hair down on my shoulders, dude. Because oh, you quit yeah. cutting it. Yeah, but mine actually grew. <laughs> Apparently, his doesn't. <laughs> I, you know, I I don't know if my hair just like quit growing. That would that's not the worst. You no, just cut it to the length you want there. it, and, and it just yeah. stays there. That'd be yeah. kind of. I would yeah. take Cheaper. that over going completely bald. Yep. Now, now I've let go of it now, but it took me a very long time to let go of it. <laughs> 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 it took me a very long time uh, to let no. go of it. Yeah, mine was mine was. Uh, there were a couple milestones. It's like, okay, if I've got an, a scalp island in the back. So I was like, yeah, no, that ain't happening. And, and if, uh, when my forehead leveled out on top, I was like, yeah, my forehead has officially reached the top of my head. Can't do it. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went through denial for a long time. <laughs> it was rough. You didn't like do like comb over type no, dog denial. No, or... so, so mine... What, it felt like it happened almost overnight. Like it the started, denial or the hair? The hair. The denial <laughs> took a lot longer there. than overnight. <laughs> <laughs> it took years. Like, but I mean, I still, I still would buzz it. But I was still like, I was still like, oh, this is awful. And uh, but uh, I mean, I, I loved having long hair. That was my thing. And then like, it started to kind of go. And then I had an interview, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut it short. I'm gonna get a nice haircut for this interview. I'd really like to get this job. Cut it short. And I couldn't look back because yeah. then you could really tell when it got short. I was like, oh, my gosh. And then, like, it just – I think I think I did give it one more shot of growing it out, and, like, that was it. And then I started buzzing, and then, like, I just started shaving. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason – I every once in a while I'll shave, but most of the time I just buzz it all the way down. And uh, just because shaving is more work. <sighs> it's true, I guess. Yeah. I already got to shave my face for work. Yeah, obviously I don't do that either. Right. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, I have to shave my face, so it just becomes like a, a one over Yeah, just all the way over yeah. and be done with so. it. No. So you got two options. <laughs> shave or buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Uh, apparently, yeah. as long as it just stops growing there, you may be okay for a while. Yeah. Generally, I might be able to pull it off for a few years. But if you look at your dad, he finally gave it up. Yeah. But see, he had hair till he was like almost 30. It looks like I'm gonna well, be gone in like twenty one. Well, yours is just stopping, so maybe it will hold there till you're thirty. <laughs> you know, you need to go ahead and get it cut the way you want it to be for the next decade, since it's quit growing. So that way, it stays just the way you want it, and yep, you'd be good to yep. go. There you go. Yep. Or just yep. leave that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the sides are gro- like the sides in the back are all growing. Like you can see, like my back now is like starting to get curly again and stuff. All right. Like my back's like out length my top. And I've cut my sides twice since I cut my top. And it's like already almost overgrown my top. So, Welcome to the club. Yep. <laughs> I know what I'm getting you for Christmas this year. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps. 
<laughs> we're not sponsored. We're not getting keeps. <laughs> get him, just get him a scarf. He can there you go. Get, over there. get you a wig. Yo, speaking of which, <laughs> I've definitely put a thing in the beginning of the video for this, but we do have Patreon now. I made us Patreon. Uh, okay. So... Um, if you want to donate to us for whatever reason, you can donate to us now. Jason needs a nipple shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, There's a couple different tiers, and one of the tiers you get merch every three months, so that's cool. So, yeah. We have merch? <laughs> yep, apparently. I want to work. You will when the first person pays for that Patreon. <laughs> See, I, get, I yeah. don't get nothing. He doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> New job. We got merch. Patreon. See, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did all that when I was in Florida because I had a lot uh, of downtime. So I just I made this Patreon. I published my poem. I uh, uh oh I got us on Rumble now, so all okay. of our stuff is the, on Rumble. The That's revenue cool. is pouring in at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I can feel it. I can feel my pockets <laughs> just filling up. <laughs> so yeah. so with the Patreon, can they like make a donation so that their question gets? Gets asked yes, or? so there's quite a few different perks. So one is like your question gets answered first. Um, you can put in at one of the, at like the second tier, I think you can put in a request for like a video or like a reaction or something like that, like video ideas. And um, there is just like, like I put all our videos that we've deleted off YouTube and stuff are okay. on there. So you yeah. can view all those. And... Uh, we might get to where we're doing early access stuff, but uh, we're not there yet. But the one thing we could do is like video specifically for the Patreon, right? Yeah, some some there. Yeah, there'll be exclusive videos on there that we'll just put on Patreon as well. But yeah, you know what you got to do, right? Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you're gonna have to go on to Patreon tonight and uh, make a donation so I know that it. you can get him to read a poem on right. the air. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh man, our first Patreon. <laughs> yourself <laughs> <laughs> if, if someone I else doesn't request. do it i might do that <laughs> <laughs> well i'm definitely gonna subscribe to my own patreon so i can get the merch and see what it looks like but <laughs> <laughs> won't you know what it looks like well yeah but i don't have a physical one so i don't really know but you're gonna have to explain to me this later i guess so but, are they gonna make your own merch for you and send it to you mm -hmm. yeah but like i make the design that's what i'm confused about i figured we would be able to get one if we wanted one period without you have to be a right i remember i'm you, on the show you, yeah, that's not good enough <laughs> you uh we need your money well it said when i was making it that you can get them to send you uh samples i can't find any way to do that uh, so that fake link <laughs> <laughs> it just goes nowhere every time blank <laughs> so uh look at this shirt it's not real <laughs> yeah so i can't figure it out but i do i did just since i wanted to get it all set up it's not like a super great logo i mean like it's okay but like i didn't put a whole lot of effort into it mm -hmm. but i can change you can change the design at any time okay so um i'll probably work on getting us like a professional logo made like a good logo so that I feel confident putting it on shirts. <laughs> there you go. We could make them like blue and red and stuff. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So there's like a, there's a shirt, you get a shirt and then you get um, a mug next, I think. And then. So this, um, this reminds me of. What? So. Uh, the office. No, did, did, <laughs> everything. You go, did you go to, I don't think you, were you always homeschooled? I went to Mount Vernon one year. Okay. So you met. So I went to Farmersville. And we had oh, okay. this thing where you try to raise money. And at each level, what money you raised, you got, you got, a, you got a shirt, you got a, prize, you got right? a water yeah. bottle. Yeah. You got, That's you know. exactly <laughs> what it's like. Yeah, yeah it's It exactly totally reminds me of that. Yeah. Uh, I only ever got like the first or second item. <laughs> yeah, the the higher tiers where you got like real things yes. were basically unattainable. Yeah. Except yeah. for that one kid that. Had like usually rich parents or grandparents. Know. Right. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think there were shenanigans, shenanigans with those. Oh, for sure. And they didn't care. They got yeah. the money. I, yeah. <laughs> why would they say anything? Yeah. Parent was a boss. And so <laughs> they go to work. It's like, hey, this is my kids. I need everybody to buy everything. It's like, right. Yes, sir. So this. <laughs> just do everybody <laughs> donate five. It'll get us to tier four. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I'll pick up the rest. 
keep forgetting about that. I won't put my foot on the bed. With it, camera it's, it's just going to be like this the whole time. Because <laughs> like the residual bouncing. Right. Um, <laughs> but I, it is so like just at one tier, you can get these things and they, they've come every three months. So like it starts with a shirt and a mug, then a bag mm-hmm. and then a sweatshirt if you but you'd have to stay for a whole year to get a sweatshirt. Socks. But. It might be a wise financial <laughs> decision, though. I mean, if, if the tier is less than the cost of a T-shirt and a mug, a bag, and a pair of socks, it then... It's not. Because <laughs> pay- I, I actually wanted to not make it less, but make it pretty close-ish. Right. Because like, that's almost like free advertising, if you think <laughs> about it. But um, Patreon wouldn't let me do that because they don't want they don't want to get ripped. Right. You know? So, so it. I think it's like thirty five dollars for that highest tier where you can get those things. So we need to do like, like knee high socks. (laughs) (laughs) Your name on one, my name on the other. (laughs) (laughs) Just Jason Adam. (laughs) What are those about? Don't worry about it. You can't afford it. <laughs> you have to be a member. <laughs> Comes with perks. <laughs> you don't know nothing about that. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. So is that all the questions? Uh, we we're at? very close. We got to be. Okay. I had a bunch of stuff written in my phone. Okay. And I don't remember any of it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Yet. What's your favorite cold drink or food on a hot day? You can't say ice cream is the second part of that. So if that's your favorite, is that like in between drink and food or something? I say, is it yeah. what about milkshake? Is that so you Way you ahead. want milk? No, I don't want a milkshake. But I was just no, no, it's just milk because you can't pick ice cream. So. Oh, so, you get, I see. so you get milk, mm. and we can shake it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a really bad plan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on a hot day, sounds awful. Uh, milk um, is a bad choice. Is that on a hot day? On a hot day, yeah. Just cool water. Yeah. What do you feel like after the farm on a hot day? You come home, and you just water. Well. Uh, yeah a shower <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> yeah. for sure uh, yeah. I, I feel that yeah a nap <laughs> for real yeah I guess the I think the question I'm gonna assume is mainly for watermelon like, that's it oh, for me it's dude, watermelon absolutely it's a good one. watermelon yeah it's a good one. for sure as yep. far as I guess that's almost like a food and a drink it is that's a it's combo. actually <laughs> it's actually like the best thing to hydrate you actually is eating fruit I learned that because of my whole dehydration thing. So, yeah, I found out that drinking all the time doesn't actually help as much as just eating fruit. Right. So. Well, they they also say if you drink a lot of water, it flushes all. Oh your, yeah, uh, you can't just drink water. Out. So even all. though you think you're rehydrating, or your body thinks you're getting getting more, then you flush everything else out. So. Right. Yeah, you gotta have electrolytes. Yeah, it's been a wild year for me. I barely survived. <laughs> <laughs> he came out with that knee brace. Yeah, so he's wearing the knee brace. You know, he's limping. He's got the knee brace. He's going bald. You know, his world's rough just year. crumbling apart. Yeah, rough year. I remember what it was like to be nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I have a house payment. <laughs> Which, you do too now, but you're not living in it. <laughs> right. Oh, that was it. All right. Well, I wish I could remember the great things I had on my phone, <laughs> which I felt like they were actually good podcast topics um well how how long have we been going uh pretty pretty long yeah about right about an hour i think yeah i mean it's about where normal. we want to hit anyway, right at normal so. so it's pretty good all right well thank you for coming on absolutely sir. appreciate it anything you want to throw out there no we can no. talk more about it when you come to work out yeah, ooh. <laughs> not committing to anything. Oh man! <laughs> no, I appreciate you guys having me on. It's fun. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yep, absolutely. Yep, a lot of fun. All right. Um, I we made the the guest sign out last time. Is that what we're gonna do this time, or right, do you have yeah. something in mind? Yeah, I we're got still nothing. working on the outro. 
like what to do at the end. I don't look at me for it. Uh, well, you did last time for the other guy, and he just came with something weird. Right. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> we used to, uh, at the very beginning, we used to knock the camera over, but then right. that started getting dangerous, so we stopped doing that. Be, be rough on your equipment, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of like dropping it. Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> This was a lot shorter than the camera falling over. 